your first alert weather with meteorologist Eric Burke. All right, friends, another chilly start this morning, so grab that jacket if you're heading mm -hmm. out early. Yeah, not as windy today, though, you say. Not yeah. like kite flying weather like we've no, had the last uh, few days. It <laughs> might have even been a brutal day to fly a kite yesterday. I uh, really have to hold on to that thing. Uh, today we're just going to call it breezy. We'll see a sustained northwest wind about 10 miles per hour. Occasionally some wind gusts 15 to 20, but it won't be the wind gust up to 40 plus miles per hour like we saw yesterday. It was, it was just very windy. Yeah, and even some of the trees in my neighborhood, you don't see them blowing around like that unless we if we got some severe weather rolling through. But just a, in general, a, a windy day, just those gradient winds between the high pressure to our west and the low off to the northeast. Beautiful look at Toyota Field, another trash panda baseball game this evening. Blue skies looks like 565 traffic is moving along just fine. It is cool temperatures in the upper 30s to mid 40s. We warm up nicely, though. In fact, today some of us might even hit 70 degrees. Greeks. In fact, that's our forecast high for Huntsville. More sunshine, we'll call it a bit more mild, still well below average, about 10 full degrees below average. We should be at 79 today. Wind out of the north and west. These are your forecast wind gusts. Now, yesterday, this same exact graphic was showing wind gusts 40 plus miles per hour. Today, 20 to maybe 25, 26 miles per hour, but it won't be as sustained. We'll kind of just have that breeze blowing around from time to time. Wind tomorrow, this will feel like a very calm calm and cool day. Uh, temperatures warming up into the mid 70s tomorrow. Then the wind becomes more southeasterly. Now what that southeasterly wind is going to do is not only bring up our temperatures by Friday, it will start to bring up that humidity. It will take a while for our atmosphere to become saturated enough to support the Friday morning rain showers actually reaching the surface. But as we go through the day, eventually we'll start to see some rain popping up on the radar high temperature trend. There's your average 79. Like I mentioned, at least we're back at average or even above average, almost a summer like feel to next week's forecast. Each day, low to mid 80s, more humidity, daily chances for pop up showers and storms. And finally, I think we're kind of turning the corner where next week's forecast will be a little bit more indicative of what we're expecting from time to time. Highs will be in the 70s and 80s moving forward. This is basically for the middle part of May, the 9th through the 13th average is there 80 and 58. But the reason we've got so much wind, a lot of people saying, you know, where's this coming from? Well, it's this big area of high pressure off to our west. You've got the clockwise flow around around that you've got a deep center of low pressure here in the northeast with rain and snow showers wrapped around it. So you get the high pressure with the clockwise flow, the low pressure with the counterclockwise. But we're caught right in the middle. The difference between the two, the bigger the difference, the stronger your winds are going to be. And that's exactly what we got to experience yesterday and for parts of the day today. But all the way through the evening commute looks good to me. Just breezy temperatures in the upper 60s to low 70s. Shower and storm chances increasing late Thursday night into Friday morning. Should be dry for Friday afternoon and evening. And as far as the weekend, you'll have some dry hours, but mainly looking forward to the 80s next week, even if it comes with chances for rain.